I'm trying to wrap my head around what just played out with Warren. Uh, I, uh, I'm not totally sure what to take away from it. I, uh, my knee-jerk reaction is to think that it's confirmation that the aliens are hostile and they're not here to wrap us up in love. But at the same time, you know, Warren was swinging that rifle up towards the, the drone and, uh, and you, know, I, you know, I call the thing a drone, but, I mean, who knows? I mean, the aliens could be the size of Smurfs, and there could have been a, could have been a whole crew on that thing, and they were just defending themselves. I, I don't really know. I mean, the only thing I know for certain is that I had to change my pants after it. Sorry for the TMI there. And, uh, and that Warren is laying dead in my, my yard, and I have to do something about that. <sighs> you know, people always talked about how if aliens ever came to Earth, that, you know, they'd almost certainly be peaceful because, you know, if they were warlike or aggressive, they would have just, you know, wiped themselves out in their own home world. I never paid much credence to that because, I mean, just in human history, there's plenty of examples of highly technically advanced civilizations being pretty darn awful to each other. Uh, so, I mean, I think we've got that precedent right here on Earth. And even stepping away from that, I think it's arrogant to just presume that because we know how amazing and wonderful humans are, that every other creature in the universe is going to share that view. I mean, there's perfectly kind, ethical people that don't hesitate to, you know, use kill mouse traps or, you know, like spray to get rid of ants and whatnot. And there's no there's no reason to think that aliens wouldn't there's no reason to think that aliens would see us any differently than, you know, moss or ants or mice or something like that. Uh I think it's just arrogant to presume that they're gonna, you know, be enamored with us in the same way that we are and not just see us as like just, you know, just another thing. So I don't know, I mean it seems like they're hostile. It's, they're definitely dangerous, uh, but you know I don't know yet. And I, you know, to be honest, I just don't even want to think about it for the rest of the day. Uh, I probably should be doing shit. I probably should be out and collecting more, you know, more more edibles. But I just, you know, I just don't feel like doing anything for the rest of the day <laughs> at this point. And you know, I'm a prepper. I think I've earned it. You know, I can take the afternoon off. I, uh, I went down to my library, not the town one, uh, the one in my basement. I've always kept a really good, extensive paper library, stocked with like stuff I picked up from Salvation Army. Um, I got Ursula K. Le Guin's Wizard of Earthsea that I'm going to veg out and, uh, and read this afternoon. I think I'll maybe cook up some of the wild edibles that I had, had collected, too. Uh, I'm really glad that I have this, because, well, here's... Here's a Kindle. There's hundreds of books on there, but none of those are accessible. You know, all my DVDs and things, I can't, I can't do any of that. And I think it's, it's important to have something to, you know, pass the time. Now, in my library, I also have, like, encyclopedias and reference books and all that. But uh, I think it's important to have just, you know, just some literature, too, to give you something to do if you don't want to be, you know, do Oh, what's that? Someone's fighting. Be interesting to hear who wins, which I presume I can guess from whoever shoots last. I think it's fair to say that we can call that one for the aliens. <sighs> Those people had that. That wasn't just some hunting rifle either. That was something a little, a little. Uh, a little more aggressive. <sighs> I, I, don't, I don't know the sound guns make. I think I know what I'm going to do with Warren's body. But I'm not going to do it today. It's kind of gross. That sounds sexual. I don't mean that sexually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think, I, I, I think I'm going to... Yeah. I'm, I'm going to wait till tomorrow to do it, though because it's kind of gross.
Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.